Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. It is Classics re Week, and I have finally finished Dracula by Bram Stoker. Um, I've been trying to read this book since I was about 10 or 12, somewhere between there, when I really got into reading adult fiction, um, and I never, never made it, but I finally did. I bought this edition especially because I was going to do a uh, read-along with Brad Proctor, um, and he did that, I think, in February, and it's now, uh, well, I read this in, in September, but it's now October, and I'm just now getting around to my review, and it took me months to even start the book. But anyways, I finally finished it, so here are my thoughts. Uh, the middle of the book is an absolute slog. Uh, there's a lot of Victorian romance and all different kinds of stuff going on in there that I didn't care anything about. Um, oddly enough, it reminded me a little bit, just a, just a, just a tidbit, of 11.22.63 by uh, Stephen King, where there's this whole middle chunk that I absolutely hated, but I loved everything that it's bookended by. Now, saying that, I am still giving it three stars, and here's why. I have seen the Francis Ford Coppola uh, adaptation, Bram Stoker's Dracula, and I, I remember laughing at certain scenes um, that I still to this day find funny, like Dracula scampering up the wall. It, it was shot in such a jerky way that it, it just looked goofy to me. In the book, it's absolutely horrifying. Um, I knew the scene. I, I knew the scene from the movie, but it is so much better done in the book than it is in the movie. Um, but the main reason I'm giving it three stars, three stars alone. I, actually, five stars, but since I didn't dislike the, the last bit of the book, I'm cutting it down to uh, I, most of the book. I'm not going to lie. Most of the book was, was a chore to read. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it back down to three because of the Demeter scene. When the Demeter arrives, when it, when it comes to shore, the descriptions of the crew, the descriptions of the boat itself, everything was so well done. I could have done with just that scene alone being by itself. As a short horror story, it would have been very effective. Um, now, I'm not a fan of vampire literature, period. It's, it's the most overdone horror trope, I feel. If you love it, you do you. No judgment whatsoever. Um, but I don't like vampires. Um, it, it's also, it's the, uh, not the deus ex machia, but um, the, it's just, it's always solved with some kind of religious, uh, religious iconography, whether it be a, a cross or, or whatever, you know, they can hold them back that way. It just, it, it feels, you know, using, <laughs> using that as the, the, the end all for damn near everything that's classic horror is like, oh, every monster's afraid of God. Of course, it's the Christian God um, and none of the other ones. But uh, anywho, um, this, that, that Demeter scene, and I hear that they are making a, an entire movie based solely on the voyage of the Demeter. Um, that I am all signed up for. I am looking forward to that. Uh, I did like uh, things about the wolf. Um, that was kind of cool. Um, him turning into a bat will always be goofy to me because I'll always think about the classic Dracula movie with the with the bad special effects. Um, which is funny because when I think of the Bram St when I think of Coppola's uh, movie, I think of that goofy wall climbing scene. But in the book, I like it so much better. Um, I am glad this one exists. Same thing that I said. Well, I, I'm not sure which order I'm putting these in. This might be the first one of the week. But I said the same thing about Sleepy Hollow. I'm glad that it exists. I'm glad that it's out there. I'm glad so many people have found a way to repurpose this monster, this character, this trope, and I'm glad so many people love it, so I'm giving it three stars for that also. Um, did I enjoy the book? No, not really. Um, like I said, most of it was a chore, but it had two absolutely brilliant scenes, and that is the the Dracula on the wall and the Demeter scene. But have you read Dracula? If you haven't, I'd like to hear from you if you haven't, or if you've never been able to finish it, give me some solidarity. Let me know which, why you, you've never been able to finish it, why you never read it down there in the doobly-doo. Um, also, weighed against the old Dracula movie, uh, the Universal Dracula movie, it's 
it's a lot different, quite different. And we're going to go into that even we're going to go into that subject even more when I talk about Frankenstein later this week. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought about it, especially if you've never been able to finish it, or if you're like me, you, you never never could finish it, um, or if you've never even tried it, and give me your reasons down there in the doobly doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.